Hey friends, what's up? Ken here. Uh, boy, it's been hot here in the Ohio Valley. Up in the 90s. Been, man, really un unbelievably hot, steamy. But you know what's even makes me hotter than that? Is listening to or watching the presidential debates from the Democratic Party. Yeah, that'll really get my dander up. Really make me make me start to fume. Thank you, Mr. Beto O'Rourke, for having the intestinal fortitude, the brass cojones, to actually put out on the table what we've known all along in the gun community, that you want to come after our ARs, our AKs, and we know that you're not going to want to stop there. I appreciate at least you doing so and at least coming right out and saying what we knew all along. And in one statement, you've helped polarize the country like never before. Because now there can be no debate. Now there's not going to be any moderation because you've already stated such. And now there is nothing for us to say anymore. It's just not, not going to be a debate. It's an argument. Who can last the longest and shout the loudest? Because you know what? There is no debating. There is no reasoning. There is no going back and forth on this issue. Uh, you've, you've drawn the line in the sand. So be it. But you know what you've made me want to do? You've made me want to go home and get out my assault rifles and comfort them and fondle them to know that they have a safe and secure home with me. Not only that, I think this weekend I'm also going to go out and watch this movie. And Mr. Beto, if you haven't seen it, maybe you need to brush up on your Greek because Molon Le Bay. Oh, and also, to the Brain Trust up in San Francisco, I think I'm going to eat some rice aroni. Maybe you don't realize that when you called me a domestic terrorist because I am the NRA, and you labeled one of the oldest and largest civil rights organizations in the country that was founded not only to promote marksmanship and gun safety, but also to help recently freed African-American slaves after the Civil War to defend themselves. So you've called us terrorists, when maybe you don't realize that the two best things that ever came out of San Francisco, one was Harry Callahan, and the other one was the San Francisco Treat, who one of the originators of this was Grandma Capanian, who was a survivor of the Armenian genocide that took place at the turn of the 20th century that was perpetrated on Armenian Christians, almost a million slaughtered by the Ottoman Turkish Empire. Thank you for taking someone who escaped and became successful and was a victim of terrorism and then now labeled me and all my friends as terrorists. Hey, guess what? I'm Ken. I'm a good guy with a gun. And you want to know something? Thank you. Thank you. And thank you. If at possible, and you're making it awfully difficult, live at peace with all men. And if not, prepare to defend yourselves. Have a nice day. Oh yeah, baby.